This is the TP-Link 8-port gigabit switch. It comes in glossy black plastic, so do your best not to touch it, I guess. But it does do exactly what a gigabit switch ought to do. And there are thousands of favorable Amazon reviews that can attest to that. But that's not what this review is going to focus on. Instead, I'll be looking at this sorry excuse for an AC adapter. The complaints about this thing kind of get lost in a sea of positive reviews about the Switch itself, but they are there if you're looking for them. You'll see plenty of exasperated complaints about high-pitched noises, whining, and buzzing. There are hundreds of Amazon reviews that mention this astonishingly irritating noise coming from the AC adapter. And it really is that bad. It's so bad that I just had to test it. So here's the setup. A Behringer measurement microphone was used to capture audio from the TP-Link AC adapter, plus another generic AC adapter I had on hand. The results are then viewed on this spectrum analyzer. Here we're looking at a window from 1000 Hz to 20 kHz. And while the graph here may look fairly busy, this is actually the ambient measurement of a very quiet room. Alright, let's first plug in the generic adapter and see how the measurement changes. Absolutely nothing. And that's a very good, quiet nothing. Let's get rid of that. And now the TP-Link adapter. Now the graph initially jumps because of the noise I'm making plugging the adapter in, but that will quickly settle back down. What you will see though is the development of two distinct tonal peaks. These occur at 8 kHz and 16 kHz. Either by itself would be bad enough, but their combination is just infuriating. This is something you'd inflict on an enemy. It's a noise that's hard to localize. You can't tell where it's coming from, yet you hear it everywhere. Even if you've been to a few too many rock concerts and you can't actually hear the 16 kilohertz tone, the one at eight kilohertz is enough to drive you crazy anyway. And you're gonna be stuck with this noise until you do this. If you have sensitive hearing, or if you even deign to be in the same room as the TP-Link, or you just don't want your animals to flee in terror, you have to find some alternate source for a 9 volt AC adapter. So, any positive impressions I have about the TP-Link switch itself are tainted by the inclusion of a noisy, irritating AC adapter.